So last night, my daughter and her boyfriend asked me to come over. Last week was my birthday. They said they had a surprise. Here's what they got me. Wind 10 inch bandsaw. I can't believe they did this. This was so awesome. I've been needing different saws, like a new table saw, bandsaw, and they got me the bandsaw. So I am so stoked to get this unboxed. So. So let's go through a couple things right here on top. We've got our instruction manual. We got a miter gauge, lightweight plastic, not too bad. We got a bag of Hardware here, look what we got here. It looks like some kind of measuring guide for the fence. Uh, here's our table. So, some of the uh, videos I've seen, they talked about being a cast iron top. This is not cast iron. So I'm not sure they knew what they were talking about, but this is aluminum. So we got the fence, pretty solid construction, aluminum. We got some adjustments here. So yeah, that pretty decent quality there. Our legs embracing. I'm going to put this on its stand because I don't have a lot of workbenches. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the stand just so I can move it out of my way. And that seems pretty good quality. It's all four legs there and it's probably a good 10 pounds. So that's, that's real good quality there. And let's get to the prize. Isn't that a beauty? Okay, let's go over the back side of it here. Our adjustment knob to tighten the blade. Looks like this one's our tracking knob for setting the tracking of the blade. There's our, our light, little LED light. Looks like we got one big LED inside, so where our table's gonna ride. A leveling screw quality motor uh, three and a half amp I believe is what it's supposed to be and we got our dust collection chute here and this is really nice because you got different sizes that you can connect up here so I don't have a dust collection system so I use a freaking shop vac so this smaller one will do great for that front side here We've got a knob to open the door up to our upper wheel. This one looks like our raise and lowering knob to raise and lower this. Adjustments here and here for probably tracking on our uh, bearings and another knob for opening the door. 
so far I'm liking the quality of this looks like we've got a piece of square stock here um, our electrical plugs going in and out have good connectors on those well looking here it's welded to our base so yeah that that's a good sign I, I like that really digging the quality on this so let's get it spun around so we can look inside all right guys here we go here's the front side here's our nameplate win really nice looking nameplate uh, there's a knob for opening the door here here's our, our raise and lowering knob again uh, we got our roller bearings here feel like good quality bearings uh, the switch this looks like a pretty decent constructed switch here is our nameplate on our model number motor size motor ratings cutting speeds apparently you can change the cutting speed and uh, name and uh, phone number that's that's pretty cool okay guys let's continue on with the quality of this tool and how it's built so far I'm very impressed there is hardly anything that's plastic other than knobs everything else seems to be some nice eighth inch or so thick metal um, I'm seeing a lot of welds your hinges are welded on square stocks welded to the base so let's open it up and look inside as you can see we got cast aluminum blade wheel here so this isn't plastic like you see on some there's some rubber on on your guide wheel here so that helps with the friction and keep a hold of that blade real well this is angle some good solid angle here for our tensioner like I said the knobs are plastic but it's not flimsy plastic it's it's pretty thick um, what's this oh those are balancers they took the time to balance out the wheel that's amazing then you just slap it together and said good luck hope it stays on your table oh I like that that's that's amazing guys I see some more welding back here and here see your your casings all welded in yeah that's a weld there welded grinded and painted right here and here so this this is a really good quality for the money guys I'm impressed this is not just sheet metal folded up and tacked in we got a little loosen that up check our little guide here that's pretty smooth it's aluminum there's some metal there that it rides on yeah a little catch right there that's nice quality twist that up to tighten it in lock it in let's look at the bottom down here and see how that looks now there's our sticker on how to set the yeah that's the belt for our different RPMs uh, orange and white lines representing our belt and position the back pulley on the back pulley of the wheel gives you your 2620 and the white lines the front side of your pulleys at 1520 1520 is what it comes factory yep there it is there. there's your smaller wheel there's a larger wheel in back same thing here move your belt back and you increase the rpms on this and wow yep balancing out your wheels that is amazing guys i, I like seeing that 
I took the time to balance this. Uh, that is, well, wow, here's just a, a brush to brush off the debris to keep that rubber belt or sleeve cleaned because this is our where our dust collection there's the opening so this will be catching sawdust in here so they gave us a nice little brush to keep that sawdust off the wheel and getting packed into in between our blade and our wheel because that's probably what would happen I like seeing the brush it's mounted on quite well that is a solid mount there it is removable it is removable so you can take it off clean it that's a good sign there's more of that welding going on back in there here it is welded to the base plate again on your square stock and then you got a few tacks inside so this is really really good quality uh, build here guys um, I'm, I'm very impressed and this is not expensive at all I didn't look it up to see what they possibly paid for it it was a gift from my daughter and her boyfriend actually more her boyfriend than my daughter <laughs> my daughter college student so uh, she's not making tons of money but uh, he does he does pretty well though so yeah I'm, I'm very impressed guys let's uh let's start putting the table on get this thing together so what I did was once I got it put all together I left all the bolts loose and the nuts I set it down on the floor so that I can get it nice and stable and level and then I'll go through and tighten up all these these uh, nuts and bolts that way I know it's sitting on the floor square and I won't get a bunch of wobble so I'm about to uh, set the table on and I'm looking through my bag of hardware and noticed that I used all the nuts and bolts on the legs so I was confused for a minute until I picked up the table plate flipped it over and seen that they had already put those screws that we need in the bottom of this plate so if you're going around looking for them that's where they're at it's aluminum and tapped with threads don't try to force or put a lot of torque on tightening up those screws. Aluminum will strip out if you try to go too much. This fits right up underneath there and if you reach up under there you can feel where your little wing nuts here screw in. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and since this is slotted we can go ahead and start our wing nuts with just a couple of threads. There. There. And the last one. There. Slide that right up under there. Go ahead and spin those down to get it slightly snug we've got adjustment slide this back and forth to kind of measurement in line somewhat grab our fence it should pop in just like that run this down here to zero and slide our rail back so I am just touching the blade there and I'm going to set our zero all right that's all all set okay we got it all put together 
Lighter gauge. Fits real nice. Our fence. This thing works great. Um, I like how tight it locks down. And uh, just so you're wondering, you can loosen these up, take them loose. And this piece right here can be flipped over on this side so that you can cut on either side of your blade. So that's a re real nice feature. Let's move that out of the way and let's turn it on for its first run. This switch here is our LED switch. There's our light looking great pretty bright let's point her down a little more right there there we go and let's turn it on so pretty quiet let's look inside how smooth that's running and it said it was already tracking was set at factory and it looks like they did a wonderful job with that so it's looking very very well and running very quiet I'm, I'm extremely surprised how quiet it is See how square it is. Just curious where they set it up at factory squared. And it looks pretty dang square to me. So I don't have to change that leveling screw. So the table's level. Uh, square with the bandsaw blade. All right, guys, there you go. 10 inch wind bandsaw. If you guys got any questions, just leave a comment. If there's anything that you wanna share that I overlooked or don't know about, leave it in the comments. I like reading them. I usually read all my comments. Now, yeah, I say it, I always read all my comments. But um, if you liked the video, hit the thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. Uh, once I reach a thousand subs, I'm giving away a power tool. And I'm not talking Black & Decker or something cheap like that. I'm talking probably DeWalt or Milwaukee. So spread the word, guys. Help me grow the channel. And you guys have a wonderful day.